So in this video we're going to talk about how to move your inner energy or what the Chinese call your chi. Now in my meditations I have many ways that you can use this chi to remove negative emotions like anxiety, fears or depression or things like that and you can see that in the meditations tab but uh, you can also use this uh, chi or inner energy to add positive emotions to you as well and you can see how to do that in my meditations videos in the meditations tab. Now we're going to talk about how to cultivate Qi and simple quick ways to remove it. And that's done through Tai Chi or Qi Gong by doing simple movements. The first one we're going to start with is called uh, swinging hands. So essentially all you're doing is moving your hands from side to side. If you imagine like there's a tube going through the center of your body and that's what you're moving from. So you can feel this movement in your legs as well. Now, to look at it from behind, you'll see I'm just tapping my kidneys lightly. I'm not squatting down, just standing up straight, but comfortable. I also have my legs, my feet are about uh, shoulders width apart, and your knees are never locked when you're doing this. So this is a great thing to do if you have an argument or a fight or you get off that phone call that just made you feel so stressed. And this is a slow methodical movement. However, when I'm feeling very uh, anxious or stressful or I've got an argument or something like that, I do it a lot more aggressively until I get that feeling out of me. And all animals know about this. You see when dogs have a fight or ducks or birds or stuff, you'll see them shake that energy off of them. Essentially, that's what you're doing here. So the second movement, similar to this, also called swaying hands, is done just by moving your hands up and dropping them. And imagine throwing that energy into the earth. So the way to do this is by having your joints limp as you go up, your wrist and your elbow, and then you're just dropping it all down and at the same time dropping your weight. So from the side, it looks like this. You're never bending over when you do these exercises. You're squatting, okay? And you're not pushing your hands up in the back. You're just letting them fall from the throw that you just made. And the throw is designed with the intention you have in mind. Uh, so in Tai Chi is very similar to uh, Feng Shui, if you're familiar with that. It's all about intention. So if you have the intention to get something out of your body, it's going to be very effective with that. And that could be anything, including illness. So if you have a, a, a negative emotion or some illness or disease or something like that, and you have the intention of getting rid of it, this is gonna be very beneficial for you. Cheese like a muscle, the more you use it, the stronger it gets, but it's actually more effective than, than, the, than how you're, how, it's more responsive than your muscles, I should say. So this second movement is another one to get rid of all those kind of things. Next three that we're going to do are about cultivating more chi or energy. So the first one is if you imagine a toroidal field around you, or what they call a torus, going around your body, we have that energy anyway. So this is going to be moving it in a circular motion. If you imagine two circles coming together and they're going around you. Now where this is going is up the, the Chinese say that the chi comes from everywhere and it's all around us. It's included in the sky as well as the earth. So we're moving that field up and around us with our intention. And this is, the intention is to become healthy. And this is one of the few things that are, that allows that on all three levels, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So if you imagine this field going around you in this way, this is what people are trying to achieve when they go to acupuncture. It's essentially, they're using the needles to move your chi around your body in areas that you might have blockage, either through illness or some type of emotion. And they're also very related, and they're related to your organs. So if you have an intention that you want to heal a particular organ or illness, this is going to be very helpful for you. So moving this around, and you're going to be squatting down just in the other, just like in the other ones with the intention of moving it. You do this with your eyes closed and, the, and your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So moving it around, 
like a dance, slowly and methodically. Okay, the next one we're going to do is from right to left. So just like I said earlier, the energy is in comes from the sky and the earth, you're going to imagine your top hand with energy coming in through it and your bottom hand is coming from the ground. So it's coming from the sky and from the ground simultaneously. And you're going to feel this sway in your legs as well. So as this movement, this hand comes around, it's facing down, it turns around like you're, you're holding a tray, like a waiter. This one comes and does the same thing. Then goes down. Very powerful movements. Now while I'm doing these movements, I imagine what's called a prana tube. The prana tube goes from the top of your head all the way down through your perineum, but it cuts through all of your chakras. And if you imagine breathing through this tube as you're breathing, you can feel it coming in from the earth and from the sky. You breathe in that way and this charges all your chakras as well as your aura and energy body. So, the, so breathing through this tube, and you could do it at any point in your day just by itself, is going to be very beneficial to move your chi and allow you to be more powerful in these, medi in these guided meditations that I have. So like I said, this is a slow, methodical movement like a dance. And now these don't have to be done in order. You can choose whichever one you like and do just that at any time. I even do these when I'm in the gym. So when you're working out, essentially your working muscles, you're expending energy. This actually gives you energy. This is why people are able to maintain energy levels all day long when they do this. Now if you're somebody that's not able to get a lot of sleep, this is something that's going to be highly beneficial to you. I always recommend people get 8 hours of sleep, but if you're not able to do that much, 10 to 40 minutes of this every morning is going to be really beneficial for your overall health. So as I said, one of the things you want to do with this is you're going to have your knees loose, feet are shoulder width apart, and your toes grabbing onto the ground. My, the beach is my favorite place to do this because the earth is a giant ball of free electrons. And you're able to connect with that and take electrons from the earth just by standing anywhere on it. It could be grass or the beach or something like that. You can see more about that in my video called Earthing. But it's a very powerful way of healing. And the last movement we're going to do is you're going to imagine a circular field going around you, up and in through you, down into the earth, coming up through your energy body, your physical body. You're going to be lifting and capturing it up and pushing it out. Up and through your head, pushing it out. So this is now going through the earth, through the sky, and up and through you, clearing your energy and circulating it throughout your body. As you come up with this, you're going to be breathing in, breathing out. And with all of these, the, the breath is slow and methodical, except for this one where you're throwing your breath out. But this, the opposite of that, is bringing it up and in through you. Imagine lifting it, breathing, blowing it out. Very powerful movements for all of your health, physical, mental and spiritual and emotional essentially. So I hope this works well for you. You can see other ways to use this chi, your internal energy, which you should feel it in your hands as you're doing this, as well as tingling throughout your body, but especially your hands. You can see other ways of how to use it in my uh, meditation videos uh, and the guided meditations will show you different ways to pull anxiety out or pull positive emotions in. Hope this works well for you. You can see more at theartofunity.com. Good luck.